looking for signs and evidence of what this house used to have and what used to be here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like signs of a big old X right there with tape possibly put on on an evicted house. Could have been a new window with stickers on it. Pretty doubtful. You know, the water meter is off because they didn't pay the water bill today. This house has probably been vacant for quite some time, so it is a possibility that this is foreclosed though. I don't know. I'm not gonna look into it that much. I got enough stuff to worry about. What's a horizontal crack and why is it important to you? For buying a house you can see here in the corner of this property we're at a older house down here in Arizona City a little bit of movement on the patio already but we've got a huge horizontal crack in the stem wall right here in the front of the property a little bit of the efflorescence or uh, spalling going on there crack starts at the corner extends through you can actually see some of the stem wall starting to blow out in areas right here see the displacement it's actually horizontally pushing out all the way along the stem wall it's for moisture getting into the rebar blowing it out so there's a couple ways to fix this you can fix it by patching it which is gonna basically waterproof everything and seal it so water can't get into that crack and cause more further damage which is usually what I see uh, the best way to fix it is to actually cut all of the rebar out so by cutting all of the rebar out of this stem wall you're actually getting rid of what's causing the problem is that rebar blowing up so they take it out and they put a piece of carbon fiber in there and then they redo the stem wall and then waterproof it so this doesn't happen again it's an expensive ordeal and the buyers might not be willing to go through it. They might not have enough money to take care of it, so it's something they're probably gonna bring up to the sellers. And this patio up here is actually shifting forward because that beam is twisted. It's pretty common for me to find that. It usually doesn't get quite this bad, but just because it bent so much, it's pulling this whole patio surface away and creating all these open joints and gaps in areas around the roof and along the stucco there. Then along here we can actually see some cracking along the driveway because this is pushing down. I think your water is pooling in this area. If we go in the garage, there's a couple wet spots along in the corner that are definitely showing signs of moisture. So there's the low spot. Not a whole lot of water standing over in this corner actually. It's not as bad as I was thinking. Water staining is more in this corner. Just that discoloration is telling me that this is seen moisture at some time. Check this out in the garage though. What are all these little black things all over the place? Oh, how many do you think we got in here? <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot. Um, old termite tubes as well. Seeing old termite tubes that have been scratched away several different areas and we've got more stem wall foundation issues back in this corner. I had to move these paint cans out of the way. What do you know? It was right in this corner where all that damage is. Those are just old termite tubes that have been brushed away. Moisture. That's what's causing the termites. That's what's causing the foundation issues. That's what's causing all these cracks is moisture. If you want to be a good homeowner, Learn how to control the water around your house. It's not quite as bad here in the backyard. You can kind of see we're losing some of the paint, which is helping to seal all this up. So we're starting to see a little bit of the spawn. <clears throat> we're actually looking at either some repair marks or termite treatment marks on the side of that stem wall. Probably termite treatment marks. This is the master bathroom back here. It looks like somebody did some stucco work right there. You can see that swirl. Because these main plumbing cleanouts are ABS on this year of a home, these have probably been replaced at some point. Now this goes right under the master bathroom. This is the inside of the wall that we just looked at on the outside. Now I wonder why they would have been treating for termites in this area. 
caulking gaps all around the shower. Huge caulking gaps. Not small ones. These are major that need to get taken care of. They probably had some water spillage underneath the tub, probably had some termites come out from under there. At least they didn't have spiders coming out of the sink. Uh, our water is off today. There's no testing the water. Yeah, gross. I know. So when I got here, actually the water was turned off due to non-payment. $88. I'm down in Arizona City today, so it's kind of a drive. So in a situation like that, when I have to charge a travel fee, because it's an hour away from where I typically work, and I have to come back to check the water because the water got turned off because the seller had some issues with it, that's going to go directly to the seller. If you want to be a really good homeowner, learn how to control the water in and outside of your house. That way you don't have all this damage, you don't have termites, you don't have cracks, you don't have problems when you go to sell your house. Learn to control your water. See you next time.